What's up, guys? Welcome back to another film session breakdown presented to you by the Birdsaw Law Firm, the official injury lawyers of Propel Suck. I'm literally doing this as the Zion Williamson news drops that he's going to be out against the Kings and possibly out for the postseason. I uh, will be reevaluated in multiple weeks. But I wanted to show you how special Zion Williamson was last night. I think one of the biggest things, and look, I'm not previewing the offseason right now. I hope they win Friday. I, I want to see them against the playoffs in OKC, and they can beat the Kings without Zion Williamson. But in the offseason, it's very clear and evident that Zion Williamson needs a true point guard. Jose Alvarado, you're going to see in the first clip and possibly the last clip of this, um, of this film review. Jose Alvarado, what he did last night playing with pace, force, getting to the teeth of defense, finding Zion Williamson in, in, in advantageous spots is what Zion Williamson needs moving forward. So here's the first possession. As you can see, Pelicans are down four, five eighteen left in the fourth. All right, every possession matters here. So we're going to get a back screen for Herb Jones, all right? So Larry's gonna, then going to pop, and Jose's going to chase. Most of the season, you've seen Zion Williamson kind of just stand in the corner, stand in the corner, stand in the corner. Watch what he does here. Jose comes off, attacks, boom. Look at the pace of play Jose is playing with. He gets it. He's going to chase. We got D'Angelo in a, in a bad spot here. AD's in drop. Doesn't necessarily know what he's going to do. And Jose attacks, turns the corner, and it's, look at LeBron. And Reggie Miller points out. LeBron's looking at Jose, completely lose Zion Williamson. Look at this little scoop pass. Boom, right there, two-hand slam. That's the stuff that Zion Williamson needs. And you're going to see some more pick-and-roll action uh, later in this film review and where Zion Williamson is simply screening, rolling, going downhill and making and, and, and making either decisions to kick out to shooters or finishing over Anthony Davis. So the next possession I wanted to bring up is, is how they play with Brandon Ingram. OK, so this is called the elbow set. Zion Williamson's in the corner. This is very slow and methodical. It's a back screen. All right. The Lakers are simply just going to pass it off and switch it. So now Reeves guard Brandon. OK, we're kind of fading away. The half court dribble, 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 screen, dribble. Look at this. Look at the right corner. Look at the right corner. Zion Williamson and CJ McCollum are stacked. Prince is guarding two of them. I think this is Rui that's going to take Larry here. And Herb is in the left corner with D Low and Elbows. Like, it's a turnover. I don't know where Brandon is supposed to go with this basketball, but with this type of spacing, it makes no sense. It's really lethargic and slow and we're starting our set with nine seconds and we're at a half court and it's just such a different type of play style when there's a point guard like Jose Alvarado who's quick. He'll get in the teeth of the defense. He'll find open guys. He'll look to attack the rim instead of this where you get caught and turn over. Okay. So back to quick actions. Okay. So we're going to get to a four out one and with Zion with Zion setting a sprint up screen. Okay. We're going to flip it to CJ. Zion sprints up. Quick action here attack. All right. We're in a good spot here. Larry's going to get to the corner. Zion needs to learn this. Screen and roll hard. He needs to put his ass into Reeves' hips, seal him off, and then dive, which he kind of does. And he hasn't been great with this all year, but he needs to learn how to do this in the offseason. So we're coming off good action right here. That's the pocket pass. This is what I'm talking about with a point guard. Look, and CJ, I like CJ a lot. This is automatic right here. You give the ball to Zion, and what this creates is a three-on-two situation. Brandon should be spaced out a little bit more over here. But if you pass this to Zion, it's three. It's two options. It's Zion going right at Anthony Davis at the rim, or it's Zion going at AD, and you're kicking out to the corner. Yes, Larry Nance is not a great shooter. Maybe in the offseason they can address this because if you plug shooters in in the corners, please tell me how you can stop this because you can't. If CJ would dump it off to Zion, Zion, and you're going to see what you're going to see Trey Murphy do this later on this in this uh, film. Dump it off to Zion. He's going downhill. One dribble action here right at AD or you kick it out to a wide open shot. We'll still roll the clip. Pelicans, the, the initial action gets stopped. Thank God Brandon comes to the ball and you still get a good look. That's not the point. And I know CJ misses this. The point is, if you have a true point guard, this is an easy pocket pass. A Jamal Murray, you see it all the time. You see it with Jalen Brown. I mean, 
go on and on. Like I, R- Rajon Rondo was incredible at this. Like the the Jamal Jamal Murray Nikola Jokic pick and pop or pick and roll is 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 the first thing that comes to my mind. But like like SGA and Chet, like the list goes on and on. Like even Butler and Bam do this kind of stuff. Like this is simple stuff, and the Pelicans don't exploit this enough. If you just screen pocket pass, Bam, you get to your best player going downhill, and you got three Larry, Brandon, Zion on two, Prince and AD. And what could even happen here is if say Larry doesn't want to shoot it, okay, cool. CJ dumps it to Zion, you attack AD. What do you think Larry does? He would then cut from the corner and you dump it off to Larry for a dunk. These are the type of plays I'm talking about that they just make this so hard. And it's a good look, don't get me wrong. But why not just take this look right here because you don't have a true point guard? You need it. Zion played with one true point guard his whole career was Lonzo Ball. How many times do you see full court lobs from Lonzo? How many times do you see lobs from Lonzo in the half court? You you can like him, you can not like him. I don't really care. He was the only true point guard that's ever played with Zion Williamson. And I feel like those were Zion Williamson's best, best season scoring. This right here should be automatic. Either way, we don't get it. Still got a good look. Missed a three. CJ usually hits that. All right, this is the two-man game I was talking about with Trey Murphy. Watch the action. Watch how quick it is, decisive, and getting your best players in, in, in positions to score. Trey's going to throw it to Z. He's going to sprint off of it. So now we all know in the game plan, look at LeBron. Oh, shit, Trey's got it. One of the best shooters in the league. We got to get out there. So we screen Prince. LeBron comes up. Take Trey, bam. That's the pocket pass I'm talking about. It's when you you fit the ball paws in between two defenders. Right here, right there, right there. Zion opens up. One dribble. Layup. This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is Anthony Davis, and it still doesn't matter because Zion Williamson going downhill is impossible to stop. And this is why this dude needs a point guard. Once again, Trey Murphy, quick action. Screen, roll, open up. One dribble, bam. Okay, say AD wants say like say Gabe Vincent is over here, kind of takes him away. Reeves comes over. This is what I'm talking. About. So say we stop it. Look at all the options you have. You're playing four on three: Jose, Zion, Dyson, Larry. This isn't even a shooter's lineup. But what happens is, say AD comes up, Nance can either slide up and take this shot. He can also cut here. If Nance were to cut, Jose can fill this way. And then if Reeves were to take these two, you have Dyson in the dunker spot right here. These are the type of options you have with Zion Williamson and that you should be running on a consistent basis. Getting your best player in screening action, rolling hard, and playing numbers. Four on three. You hear in LeBron, JJ, talking all the time. It's a numbers game. When you get two on the ball, Trey Murphy, as he gets two on the ball, does his job. Pocket pass to Zion. One dribble. Z, make your decision. You're either going up layup, you can hit Dyson in the dunker, you can hit Larry for a corner three, you can hit Jose at the top of the key. These are the type of actions I'm talking about. This is really nice right here. Really good action. Zion finishes. Let's talk a little defense here. Trey Murphy, eight-point game, 25 seconds left. I thought it was one of the best moments um, in the game for Trey. I thought he played fine in the second half. Takes AD on the roll. Now watch what happens. D'Lo sees the defense. He's going to skip it to Gabe. Instead of staying, Trey realizes he's going to go swing, swing, anticipates the swing, swing from Gabe to Prince, close out, deflects the ball, air ball, we're going. That's really good defense there from Trey. I'll play in live time just so you can see how quick the decision is. So he realizes it, sees AD's going to roll. I'm going to take that away. I see swing, swing. I'm going to go out there, contest, gets a block, and there we go. Seven minutes left here in the fourth. Zion Williamson, quick decisions, right? Larry Nance, step up screen. Instead of Zion waiting, what does he do? One, whoop, done. Instead of just waiting to size up AD, he takes a little bit of a pause and got AD flat-footed. As you see, that's not a good stance for AD. His right, right foot's kind of pointing this way. His left foot's going, it's not a good stance. Zion realizes it, ducks. Look at him get low right there into Zion or into AD. AD cannot wall him off. I would like to, and look at that, inside finish it's on anthony davis man Rui. 
That's tough, man. That is tough right there. It's a great move from Zion. <laughs> Herb Jones, ridiculous. Herb Jones. I just had, I had to put this in because, of course, we're going to talk Herb. Top of the key. Look at Herb Jones anticipate. He realizes, like, I see Reeves going and no one's covering Anthony Davis. So what does he do? Comes from nowhere, checks it. I hope he gets first team all defense. He deserves it. All right. One of the matchups of the night right here. The last two clips. Zion on LeBron. Zion made it a th- he 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 challenged himself to be a better defender this year. And I think he grew tremendously defensively. Twelve seconds left on the shot clock. LeBron James. Five point game, six minutes left. LeBron sees it. Between the legs, cut Reeves, cut Reeves. Between the legs, clear out, clear out. I got this. Moves his feet, cuts him off, moves his feet again. But this is the beauty of this is the beauty of Zion Williamson. This is what we saw at Duke. It's okay to get beat when you're this much of a freak of an athlete that you get beat and it doesn't matter because I'm still going to meet you at the rim. I'm still going to meet you. can beat me. That's fine. But I'm still going to meet you at the rim. One-on-one on an island against LeBron James and he wins it. Left hand, pause, left hand, bam. And then we go. And this actually leads to a Jose Alvarado three, which you're not going to see. And the last thing why Zion Williamson needs a point guard. You saw this all the time with Lonzo Ball in transition. Okay, Zion's going to seal. Nobody's in help. All four Lakers are up here. So what does that mean? The backside is wide open. All you have to do is all you have to do is flip it up. So what does Zion realize? He sees Jose, makes eye contact, spins off Reeves. Jose anticipates it, anticipates it, throws it up, dunk. Damn. Probably one of the biggest highlights of the year. And that was might be one of the last times we see Zion Williamson all year. 70 games. Played well. 40 point postseason game. First postseason game goes 40, 11, and 5. And unfortunately, that might be it for Zion Williamson. Like, comment, subscribe. Love to hear your thoughts.